Hi there. What I have today is a WMS Merchant uh, mortise lock, and it is a British standard because it does have a hard plate. And also, this is a five gauge uh, keyway. The other thing that's quite recognisable on the keyway is that it has a fanned bottom of the keyway, so. You can identify it quite easily as that. I think the only other lock that has a fan bottom of the keyway is the Avocet, the same 5 gauge. And yeah, I think we'll try and give this a pick. There's the key button, not very exciting. And the lock does work. I did, with that key bin, I did try to overlift uh, this lock and basically I've got a small overlifter, the smallest one I've got, still didn't lift the lever pack. So I will try and pick this lock for you now. Just little movements because I'm sure on these locks the anti pick notches are on the bottom, so you don't want to lift anything too high. Because if you do, then you're going to fall into a false set, and that's what we don't want to do. Because I think if we fall into a false set, we've lifted everything too high. So, five feels like it's in gate. Four's in gate. Three. Two feels loose. And one. Then we must have got it. So, I'll bring it all the way around. Because I do have the key. Now let's take a look at some of these levers. I do have another lock of the same emergent and I will open that one as well and we'll take a look at the levers in that one to see if they've got any different levers in it to work out if the anti pick notches are just all on the bottom. So the first one is a number six and as you can see it's got two anti picks on the bottom and none on the top. Spacer. Then we've got another number six, and again two on the two anti picks on the bottom. Come on, and then you get ones like this. What don't want to come out? And that one is a number four, and again it's got two anti picks on the bottom. Doesn't want to work for me. <laughs> there we go. And that one is a five. Again, two anti picks on the bottom. 
and then the final one should be a four it is so the four is the same as lever three and again two anti-picks on the bottom so while we've got, we're still good for time I will open this one and we'll take a look at the levers in this one to see if they are still all anti-picks on the bottom the reason I didn't pick this lock I'll show you in a second not that I couldn't pick it, just it'd be a little bit more awkward and I had the other lock to pick so as you can see with this curtain just pull it out it is broken around there and also broken on that side so this didn't sit in the keyway very well and it was very loose in there so that's why that one didn't get picked so we'll have a look at these ones now so the first one that's a four which we've already seen a four with the two one picks on the bottom there's a six and he picked on the bottom a five So I wouldn't, unless we've got a 1 in here or something, we won't know, we've got a 7, yeah a 7, and then another 5. So looking at that, unless I'd say a 3 had the anti-pick on the top, because I have 2 locks and none of them have got anti-pick on the top of them, so just basically lifting the levers slightly and keeping a bit of tension on will get this picked open just don't lift too high so if anybody could let me know if they do know if these do contain anti-pick notches on the top would be absolutely great and i hope you enjoyed watching thank you bye for now